Hello guys, welcome back to Win, Lose or Draw and the wheel is back this week so let's get straight into today's video. And the first thing to do as normal is check back on how we did in the midweek predictions. I didn't do great, only five correct results for me. I got eight last week, so a bit of a disappointment. You guys can be proud of yourself. Six correct results before the Leeds game. Amazing stuff from you. You've closed the gap, which is important for the series. Meanwhile, the dogs, we've got to give a big shout out to them. They've beaten the wheels record score. Got five correct answers. Absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, we're back to the wheel this week. I don't have the dogs with me, but you've got to give them credit for what they did there. Absolutely absolutely fantastic. That's enough of looking back at the midweek scores. We'll take a look at the full scoreboard right now. And as you can see, you guys have closed the gap. You're closing in on me. And I'll tell you, there's a few different predictions this week. So that gap could close even more. I'm on 28. You guys are on 24. And the wheel slash dogs are on 17. But for now, let's get into the weekend's predictions. And we start with Huddersfield versus Luton on Friday night. A big game this one, isn't it? Huddersfield, what's, what's going on there? They're just drawing nil-nil. Two of them in a row, not entertaining. They're quite boring, actually. Whisper that quietly. Danny Cowley's got the defence sorted, clearly. But the attack isn't looking like it adds up to much at all. That nil-nil versus Reading, another point, another clean sheet. They're picking up those points and look like they could be moving away from the relegation zone. A win here would do them the world of good. Meanwhile, Luton got that 1-1 draw versus Barnsley, conceded that goal fairly late on. And that's a result that doesn't really help anyone down there, does it? They needed the win. They couldn't get it. And I think they're going to get another draw here. That's what I'm backing. It'll be another point, but they need to start winning games, both of these teams. Meanwhile, you guys think that Huddersfield will win this game. 59.5% of you think that they will get the three points. Fulham v Cardiff. Now, I'm going to try and get these done quicker than normal. And this is a big game in the top six. Could be the playoff final, perhaps. Fulham got that 1-0 win at Nottingham Forest. An absolute wonder goal from Harry Arter to win that game. Worthy of winning any game of football. Absolutely wonderful strike into the top corner. Meanwhile, Cardiff, they lost 3-2 at home to Blackburn, didn't they? Got done by that Adam Armstrong wonder goal. Two wonder goals in two games for them. They could be slipping out of the top six soon. The gap's closed between them and Welsh rivals Swansea. They're going to need a win here, but I don't think they're going to get it. It's a tough fixture. Fulham away. I'm going to back Fulham for the win. And you guys agree with me here as well. 64% of you think that Fulham will win. But let me tell you, we've only agreed on five results this week. So there's a lot of room for manoeuvre. You could overtake me. I could stretch clear. Let's get on to the next game. Derby versus Brentford is a bit of a Saturday lunchtime cracker, isn't it? A huge game. Derby need the win to close in on the top six. Brentford putting the pressure on the top two. They are a winning machine. They got another win, didn't they? 2-1 over Charlton. That tactics board was out in the drinks break when they were 1-0 down and it paid off for Frank. He managed to get them to win 2-1. Brilliant performance again. Will they win again? Derby, meanwhile, 2-0 lost to West Brom. Not much to be unhappy about there. Kind of expected. They just didn't really look like they could match West Brom, to be honest. I can't back against Brentford. They've won every single game so far. Be stupid to predict anything else but a Brentford for win so that's what I'm going to do and unsurprisingly you guys agree with me here as well 59% of you think that Brentford will get the job done and keep the pressure up Charlton versus Reading now and Charlton lost that game 2-1 to Brentford as I just mentioned but they performed quite well didn't they they did okay they were leading for a good portion of that game Macaulay Bong got the goal which is important for them they need to start scoring more and Lebo will be trying to make that happen here against Reading meanwhile Reading they need some goals themselves a 0-0 against Huddersfield Hardly set the world alight, did it? But it's a good point for them. And they're 13th. They're comfortable. They're not going up or down. I can't separate these. So I think it's going to be quite boring game, to be honest. So I'm going for a draw. You guys think that Charlton will get a much needed three points. 63% of you think that Lee Bowie's men will come out on top. QPR shuffled Wednesday. Two teams who both lost in midweek. QPR lost 1-0 to Wigan in that hard fought game. Meanwhile, Sheffield Wednesday threw it away really against Preston, didn't they? Three goals conceded in the last 15 minutes. Not good at all for Wednesday there. I can't separate these two either, so I'm going straight down the middle. A draw. You guys think that QPR will win 71%? That's huge. Think that QPR and Mark Warburton will get three points. Hull versus Millwall now, and Hull lost that 2-1 game to Bristol City. Bristol City without Lee Johnson, of course. You expected a bit of a bounce, but Hull lost. Again, they've been poor again one win in their last 17 this has been a nightmare of a 2020 for them they've conceded 74 goals only Luton have conceded more in the whole championship Millwall meanwhile a 2-0 loss to Middlesbrough they were poor at home as well they got absolutely war knocked didn't they at the den 
but Hull are awful. I've not praised them much on this. I've not praised them in my championship predictions either. So I've got to go for a Millwall away win. And this is one you guys agree with me on. 57% of you think that Millwall will win. Blackburn versus West Brom now. And as I record this, West Brom are top of the league. But that could change if Leeds win their game on Thursday night. Blackburn, I've already praised them. That amazing 3-2 win at Cardiff for Tony Mowbray's Ben. Not many people expected them to go there and do that. And we've got to mention Adam Armstrong. Go and watch that goal if you haven't already. Sees the keeper off his line and pulls it off absolutely perfectly. And they were 2-1 down in that game, it's important to mention. So they showed a lot of fight. And they've still got a slim chance of finishing in the playoffs, haven't they? They'll need to pick up a win here, though. And West Brom looked good against Derby in that 2-0 win. Dean Garner again scoring, again impressing. He is a brilliant player. This is going to be harder than most people think, though, I think, for West Brom. So I'm going for another draw. I don't know why I'm picking so many draws this week. You guys have gone for West Brom, understandably, completely. At the moment, they're top of the league, and they could well take another step to promotion here with a win. But I think Blackburn will just cling on to a point. Preston versus Forest now, another huge six-pointer in the run-in for the playoffs. And Preston looked good in their 3-1 win at Wednesday. They were the better team for the majority of the game, but finally got those goals clicking late on. Two subs came on and did really well in Scott Sinclair and Jaden Stockley. Brad Potts with the goal late on as well, and their hopes for a playoff place are well and truly alive. They're in eighth on 61 points, and they can close that gap to Cardiff with the fixtures to come Forest meanwhile need to bounce back from their 1-0 home defeat against Fulham. It's not that they played particularly badly, it's just they were outgunned by Fulham. It was a really close game. I enjoyed it, but Fulham came out on top. I think Forest are going to bounce back here. I'm going for a Forest away win, which is in disagreement with you guys. You think Preston will keep up that good run of form. 43% of you just think Preston will win this one. Middlesbrough versus Bristol City, and just when it looked like Borough might be down and out, they produced an away win at the den, and that is what Neil Warnock does. When the cards are stacked against him, he comes up with the goods. Both strikers scoring as well. Ashley Fletcher from the penalty spot and Britta Sombolonga, he'll be pleased to see that. He likes his strikers scoring goals. Meanwhile, Bristol City bounced back from the Lee Johnson exit with a 2-1 win against Hull, but I've mentioned I think Hull are really poor, so I'm not sure how much we can read into that, but it's good that they've got some points on the board, and maybe that was for Lee Johnson. After all the great work he's done there, they went back to the 3-5-2, and it worked really nicely for them. Having said that, I'm never going to back against Neil Warnock. I'm picking Middlesbrough to win this one. You guys disagree with me. You think Bristol City will get back-to-back -back wins. Look at this, 41% of you think that they'll win this one. Wow, this is a relegation thriller, this one. Barnsley versus Wigan. Barnsley in 23rd, Wigan bottom, if you consider their points deduction. And Barnsley needed more than the 1-1 draw at Luton. As I mentioned, it didn't really suit either team. They're three points behind Hull now, so they'll need a win if they are to close that gap and try and stay up. But they've not looked bad since the restart at all. Meanwhile, Wigan, one point behind Barnsley now. If we take that minus 12 off, this could see them off the bottom of the table and they need this. They got that huge 1-0 home win against QPR and it was a great performance. Four wins out of five for Wigan and they need to win this if they're key to keep their hopes alive. And I think they're going to do it. I need to back Wigan. I think the squad is better than the relegation zone squad of Barnsley. And I think Paul Cook can motivate his men against all the odds. You guys agree with me and it's pretty big percentage. Look at this. You guys think that Wigan are going to beat Barnsley as well. On to the doubleheader on Sunday to finish now and Stoke versus Birmingham first of all. Big news from Birmingham. Pep Clotet no longer leaving at the end of the season because he's already gone. He's walked out of the door after that 3-1 home defeat to Swansea and they were just outplayed really. We're seeing Craig Gardner and Steve Spooner come in to take charge of this one. Craig Gardner, a potential candidate for the job if he gets a few good results from here to the end of the season. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. I think he'll be able to motivate them to a win and I think it'll be a good result for them away at Stoke. Stoke hovering just above the relegation zone in 20th, 46 points they're on. It's not looking good for the Potters. And we finish off with Swansea 
versus Leeds. As I mentioned, I'm not sure how Leeds got on. I expect they'll have won to go back to top of the table, but we're not sure here. And Swansea looked very good in that win over Birmingham. They're putting results together to challenge Cardiff for that final playoff place. And I think they might catch them, but I'm not too sure they'll need to get something out of this game and the future games to come. We're running out of games, remember? Can't believe how quickly that's gone. Rian Brewster's looked excellent as well, scoring again against Birmingham. And I think Swansea have enough to get something here. I'm not sure they'll win, but I'm picking Leeds to drop points and Swansea to get a draw. You guys, you disagree with me. Look at this, 70% of you. Nah, you're wrong. Leeds are going to win this one. If they do, that's another big step towards the Premier League. So they are our predictions. I've tried to get through them a bit quicker today so we can get onto what the wheel thinks. So let's have a listen. Huddersfield Luton to kick us off. Huddersfield to win. Fulham versus Cardiff. This possibly could be the playoff final. And it's a draw. Derby versus Brentford. Big game this. And Derby are going to beat Brentford. Charlton versus Reading. Charlton need the points, but they're not going to get them. It's going to come out on top in QPR versus Sheffield Wednesday. Nobody. How about Hull versus Millwall? What does the wheel think? Another draw. Probably the wheel will give us a winner from Blackburn versus West Brom. And it will. Preston v Forest. Now Preston desperate for these points. But Forest will win. Middlesbrough versus Bristol City. Will Warnock win? Yes, he will. Barnsley versus Wigan. This is huge at the bottom, isn't it? And Barnsley are going to win. What about Stoke versus Birmingham? What does the wheel think? Stoke. Finally, Swansea versus Leeds. Will Leeds get another three points? No, they won't. Wow, Swansea to beat Leeds to finish off with there. That'll be exciting if that comes true from the wheel. But all that's left to do is look at the final results table. So as you can see here, I've actually predicted Brentford to win and West Brom and Leeds to drop points this weekend. That'll make for a thrilling finish to the end of the season. You guys think West Brom and Leeds will stay on track with wins this weekend, but it's going to be incredibly close. The wheel has excited us with a few draws and shock results there. But as you can see from the bottom of the table, as always, we like to discuss the odds and how we've got on. I've gone big. I've gone for five draws, I think. And because of that, and the fact I've not put Leeds or West Brom to win, my odds are a quarter of a million to one, essentially. 250,586 to one. That is the biggest I've ever done, I think. Meanwhile, you guys, 18,520 to one. By no means a short odds. If you fancy putting a quid on that, that's not bad, is it? Meanwhile, the wheel outdoes us both once again. All those draws, 400,000 to one, pretty much. That is huge. But remember the last time the wheel did predictions, we were at a million to one. So perhaps 400,000 is pretty reasonable. Um, but we'll see how we get on with those predictions. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Win, Lose or Draw. Remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series and leave a comment with your predictions as well if you want to. For now, guys, I'll see you on the next one.